everyone, it's Mia from MyPinkGrasshopper.com. We're here with celebrity stylist Chris Manor. What's up? Um, you know, we have him at our studio today. We're at 360 Atlier Melrose. And, you know, it's about to go down. Let me tell you why. Because this guy right here is about to, you know, let us have it in the world of fashion. My name is Christopher Manor. I'm a celebrity stylist. I'm style director at a magazine in L.A. called BB Entertainment Magazine. It goes by the acronym B. Um, I'm with Margaret Maldonado. I've recently done uh, Amber Lancaster from The Hard Times R.J. Berger. I just styled Britney Snow. It was a cool shoot, dude. She's actually from, she's from Tampa, and I'm from Florida, and I'm from Tampa Bay. I'm from St. Petersburg, but she's from Tampa, so she's kind of from my hometown, and she's a beautiful girl. She's on the cover of that, so. What is your preference? Do you have one as far as, like, styling men, women? I, I, pref I honestly, I prefer to dress women. Uh, I know that's kind of weird as a guy. <laughs> But I feel like I dress a guy every day. I've been dressing a guy all my life. And I feel like with men's fashion, at least right now where it is, like I wouldn't mind doing a men's line later on. But right now men's fashion, you put a man in a pants and a shirt, uh, a sweater and some shorts, uh, some pants and a jacket. But there isn't much variation with women. You got just a lot more options as far as silhouettes and shapes and things that are accessible to you. So I prefer dressing women. I started out in just fashion, so I would shoot a lot of fashion editorial stuff, a lot of great things with photographers and really, really good makeup artists and really good hairstylists and just kind of shoots that were about a great editorial team and we just create artwork and that's really how I got started in styling, just making the art of it. And um, <clears throat> as I started working more, I'm in LA so it's not a lot, of, a lot of editorial work that's here, it's a lot of celebrity work, so I started working with more and more celebrities. and. Recently, I've been doing a lot of celebrity styling. I'm with Margaret Maldonado, which is like the top celebrity styling agency in the world. And when they picked me up, honestly, it was really a blessing because it was like I've been doing what I wanted to do and I've been freelance for so long. But getting with them helped me to be able to take it to the next level. And I work with people like Tina Million, Mike Tyson, Terrell Owens, uh, Sierra. I dress Angela and Vanessa Simmons a lot. Actually, a lot of the stuff that you see with them is probably the stuff that I've done with them. Um, we love them. Oh, love, they're fly girls. Shout out to Angela and Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> Angela and Vanessa are shouting y'all out. <laughs> so we learned a little bit about Chris Manor, but what we're really here to find out is what is going on in the world of fashion, and he is going to let us know. So, first things first. Is there a difference between style and fashion? And if so, what is it? Uh... <coughs> Uh, yeah, I say there's definitely a difference between style and fashion. I think uh, fashion is very literal. Fashion is the things that have been produced by designers. It's literally what's going on each season. Fashion has a timeline on it. It kind of is this season is this is hot, and next season something else is hot, and something is vintage according to when it was released. And it's just fashion is more literally about the clothes. Style is just a, a pretty general term that could be referring to your clothing or your accessories or your hair or your makeup. Style encompasses more the total look. These are things that have really been pressing on my heart to get out to you grasshoppers. So she called me in especially just to <laughs> yes. talk to you guys about the should We have the specialist wearing. here to let us know. So first let me start off with this legging epidemic that has fallen upon us. She called it an epidemic. <laughs> <laughs> this legging epidemic. Okay, L let me just start off by saying that, you know, I wear leggings, okay? I will not, I'm not lying, I wear leggings, you know, it's nothing wrong with, you know, leggings per se, but I just think there's a time and place for everything and there's a way, you know, that you wear certain things and I just think that the way that leggings have taken over our community <laughs> is just horrendous, okay? We are hunting you down, leggings. Don't for, get caught. <laughs> right. For example, wearing, you know, these different colored leggings. You know, white, first of all, should not be... In, 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 in tight form, white should not come on. Mm -hmm. You just... Not the tight and white is probably a wrong, a don't. I also want to say that, you know, the leggings that you get from, let's say, Forever 21 or H&M, you know, the cotton ones, I personally feel are not appropriate for, let's say... Come on, yoga sweats. Yoga, yoga type, yeah, <laughs> legging things. 
those are not appropriate for the club. No. And if you do wear those pair of leggings, you either need to wear no underwear or you need to cover your butt. Because seeing the Hello Kitty on the butt. I've never run into a Hello Kitty through a yoga <laughs> time, but I can imagine that that's definitely a don't as well. No Hello Kitty through your yoga time. Yeah. I think that you got to take a little bit more time and invest a little bit more money in the things that you can wear regularly, but that aren't see-through. Right. Unintentionally. Because a little bit of sheer, if you want that, is cool. It's cool. But we don't want to see through your, your tights on your yeah. butt. Some dresses with some cutouts that you definitely require you to go underwear less. Right. But I don't think you should be accommodating to your sheer tights with no yeah. underwear, because then what are we going to see? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Keep those at home, ladies. There are a lot of red alternatives to, to leggings, such as American Apparel riding pants, for example. Yeah. They have uh, the, the, the wet tight look where, yeah. you know, they're wet and slick, but they're thick enough to hold all of that butt. Jeggings? Okay? Right. They have jeggings. Um, you know, there are plenty of options out there. You there wear are. a dress. As a, that's the thing. As a girl, you can put on a whole dress and just say, not, I'm not even going to be bothered with putting anything on my legs. Exactly, exactly. And that's what I think should happen. White tees. No white. And I know my t-shirt is white. But you see, the big difference is, you see this woman on my shirt? She brings a whole different element to it that most of the white tees that she's talking about don't have. First of all, I have to give you the disclaimer, like I gave you with the leggings. You know, white tees, I wear them sometimes. You know, I know people who wear them sometimes and pull them off. Okay, fine. But this is the thing. You know, a lot of, you know, men in particular, this is more of a man's dog, the white tee. A lot of men use their white tee as a staple piece for their outfit. And that's a huge no-no. Like, Have the freedom to wear what you want. White tees are available. White tees and undershirt, I think. But I yeah, think. it's more of an undershirt. It's something that, you know, should be left in the drawer more times than not. <laughs> okay? That's how I feel. I agree with that. And a lot of times, too, because, you know, a lot of times you can't even wear a white tee more than once without it looking dingy, dingy. and dirty. So that's how you know it's not meant for a safe, to be a staple piece. Fellas, li listen, they're so, I mean, I know that there aren't that many options, really, but you have the 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 idea that you could put a little bit of ink on that t-shirt yeah. and give it a whole new life yeah. should inspire you to maybe try that. Instead of just rocking a plain white tee, dude, it's like you just woke up. Yeah, yeah. Stop wearing it. Exactly. I mean, this is a fashion block, so we're addressing you like you care about what you, you know, put on, how you look, and how you feel, and things like that. So, I mean, if you really want to go beyond the average guy, really want to, you know, make a statement, really want to show what you're about through your clothes. If you're which, reaching right, to, to speak through your fashion. Right, which is what it's all about. You use clothes to speak for you at some time. And so, you know, take that opportunity to get rid of the white tee. Put a little ink on it. Put a jean jacket over it. Put a leather jacket on it. Put a plaid shirt over it. Put on some fur with a it. Blazer, I mean, any, so anything, 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 anything. I mean, anything. My anything. goodness, this, this white tee has a fashion. I, I agree, though. No white tees. No white tees. Sorry, cut. That's no. Thanks. So now we're on to the dudes. I, I don't know if you all remember. We pink grasshopper talked about mentioned. You know, there's a difference between sleeveless jean jackets and just jean vest. Just okay? a jean vest. Right, as opposed to a jean jacket that you cut the sleeves off of to make a vest. Exactly. There's a big difference. And we actually said at, in the end that, you know, sleeveless jean jackets are cooler. And what do you know? Chris Manor has on a sleeveless jean jacket. Tell us what you think about this. Who would have thought? I, I mean, clearly I'm into it because I'm rocking it. I, I think that, you know, okay, denim, classic American textile, right? That's that, denim is like American apple pie baseball. <laughs> you know, that's 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 the heart of America. Right. I, I think the thing is, is is that wearing it modern is always a task because it can, it can go two ways. It can go western, or it can go like 80s grungy, you know, denim, ripped up denim. And if you're going for which most people are right now because it's trending like a 90s, late 80s, early 90s feel mm -hmm. with your look, mm -hmm. then you want to do the jean jacket with the sleeves cut off. Because if you do just a jean vest that you buy as a vest, it probably has a more western style cut where right. the shoulders are cut more in and it just gives you the, 
all an all bad look. That's not the look you're going for. If you're going for something like this, and the cool thing about it is that you can put it over a leather jacket. You can rock it without the leather jacket. You can stud it. It could be not studded. It could have more rips in it. I mean, the things you could do with it from there are crazy, but Pink Grasshopper, one one for you guys. They were right <laughs> when they told you guys that you should rock a cut-off jean jacket as opposed to just a jean vest. Get that manly, masculine, hey, I'm about it look. And that's what we love as women. Listen to us. We're the ones marrying you. Mm -hmm. This is who we. This Come is on. what we look for. We we notice these things, guys. Okay. The shapes. If you you know that that's one of my big things as a stylist is that I feel like people don't pay enough attention to the silhouettes and the cuts and the things they're wearing. They're just concerned with, oh, this is Fendi. It's trending. I need it. Like, but wait, but that cut does not work at all with your body type, and it's not flattering to anything you have going on. So. What you said about the top having more weight to it up here because there's more fabric, it does create a more masculine silhouette. Um, Fact. Okay, next. On to the boot. I am a fat. I'm fascinated with the boot look that men are wearing, that men should be rocking today. I think, you know, it's time, men, to get out of those sneakers. We love you in the sneakers. We love the Jordans. We know how you feel about them. You know, I want to own a pair as well. But, you know, who doesn't? But at the same time, what about the boots? Show them a little love. I remember, like, listen, same time, though, like, 90s, early 90s. Remember, everybody, y'all remember Jodeci, right? Remember Jodeci? Do we? Somebody rocking, rocking. <laughs> I have some Jodeci boots. It's, it's the same thing. That look is really trending right now. Guys, if, you, if you're looking for, guys and girls, if you're looking for ideas about styles to wear and things to rock, think 90s, think early 90s, though, like, 90s R&B, like, late 80s, where you still had a little bit of the lace, a little bit of the leather that gave you that 80s rock look but it became a little bit a little bit hipper a little bit more inspired by things that are otherwise american like the military so you got your military boots i love mine i'm happy that you love them i think that it's kind of cute to rock you know the boots especially since summer is coming the boots with some shorts i, I mean, lays into that because i wasn't sure I, I, i'm, I'm into, into that, that you know you know i styled a photo shoot and i put a guy in you know some boots with some shorts and like some cargo shorts they were some cargo khaki Word. yeah yeah with exactly some boots. I, I, that, that's a look. Now it's, it's my turn, Pink Grasshopper readers, to give you guys my personal style tip. When I first met these girls, you guys met me, but one of the first things you noticed, tell me. Your hat, of course. Come on. The, the hat. Hat, the hat game, ears, hat game is vicious right vicious. now. Uh, <laughs> fur was, uh, was trending a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot this past fall. And I think the fur is just in general making a comeback. This is faux fur. But I want to encourage you guys to like really step out of your box, out of your comfort zone, and try something new. These fur hats, listen, it gives you everything. Mine has a bill. If you notice, uh, I actually this is this is a special creation. I can't expose the secrets of how it was made to you. Oh wow! But just know that it wasn't purchased like this. Oh wow! I, I made this happen. Oh. Um, but fur hats. That's that's our last do. Listen, you get you some military boots and uh, a cut off jean jacket and a fur hat. And you're killing right now. And e even even something like this, actually, I think if you had a fur hat, this would, because, you know, I think, like, bump it up a little bit. Bump it up a little bit? Yeah, you into that? Yeah. Let, let me, hold on, I got to, I got to get to you. <laughs> life, guys, now watch. Now, you see it right now, she has, she has swag, and, and it's like up. It's up, her swag is up. But watch me turn it up a little bit more. Hold on, you ready? A little bit more. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Whoa, her swag <laughs> is turned all the way up right now. Bam! <laughs> the swag just went from like it was pretty high. It was, it was already right here. Oh, but it just went from right here to like right there. Oh, Got, sure. Model that for them for a minute. Well, if you want to model, we can do that. How do right? We Come on. Listen, fur hats. That that's and that's my special style tip to you guys. It's going to make a surprise a surprise appearance and everything that you're going to see with with fashion really really soon. So check out for that. Well, that's all with Chris Manor. We are excited. Thank you. About I'm, I'm you know you about coming through. Here. About the future in fashion, what you're contributing to it. You know what I mean? We love him. Pink Grasshopper loves him. I love Pink Grasshopper. <laughs> uh, website is ChristopherManor.com. Manor is M-A-N-N-O-R. You can see a lot of my work there. A lot of celebrity stuff, a lot of covers, some music work, some fashion work. It's fun stuff. You should check that out. Uh, Twitter, Twitter.com backslash Chris Manor. C-H-R-I-S-M-A-N-N-O-R. Follow me. I tweet a lot. These girls, you got me on Twitter, right? Yes. Listen, you stay Absolutely. up to date with everything that I'm doing. A cool, cool ass job where you'll see some celebrities and some cool fashion stuff. And then just also kind of my every day to day life of a fashion stylist. Chase your dreams, man. That's my message to, to whoever's watching this right now. 
make sure that you, you, you figure out what you want to do with your life, figure out what makes you happy, the things that you love, and pursue that with all your heart, because I promise you, this is what I'm doing, and I love my life every day, and if you want, if you want to have that kind of happiness, then do what you love. You know where to find us, mypinkgrasshopper.com, it's Mia Campbell, we're here with Chris Manor, it's not going to be the last time you see him I'll on the site, it's not going to be the last time you see him at all. Uh, we're going to definitely keep updated with him. Once again, Pink Grasshopper, mypinkgrasshopper.com.